Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? I just got a question online. Uh, they were asking me what type of things we do as players in the dugout to get prepared for the game or for an at-bat. So I want to take a few minutes and just talk about it. I'm just going to focus on, on hitting and offensively what type of things I do and some of my teenage, teammates do in the dugout to get ready for our at-bats. Just listed a couple of things here, and I'll run down them real quick for you. So I feel that every at-bat begins in the dugout, and your first at-bat actually begins before the game even starts. So you're in the dugout before the game, and the opposing pitcher is going to be in the bullpen. He's going to throw 25, 35, 40, however many pitch it, pitches it is. He's basically giving you a free 10 minutes right there to get into his mind and to get an idea of what he likes to do as a pitcher. So we can pick up a bunch of things by watching him throw before the game. His arm angle, his delivery, his tempo, you know how hard he throws, what his repertoire is, what his fastball looks like. Is it a two-seamer or a cutter? Um, what type of off-speed does he have? Does he have a curveball, a slider? Does he have a splitter? So we can start to kind of formulate a game plan on how we're going to approach this guy by watching him throw down there. And it continues once he gets onto the mound and takes his warm-up pitches. You'll be surprised at how you can tell pretty quickly just by watching a few of each pitch what the pitcher feels most comfortable with. If he goes out and throws a curveball and bounces both curveballs and you can kind of tell from his body language, maybe he doesn't feel very comfortable with that pitch he might not go to that pitch as often. So again, we're just looking for some type of clue just to give us an idea of what to expect up there. We never want to go to the plate not having formulated any type of plan and just guessing and hoping. The second thing that a lot of times happens in the dugout is players are constantly talking to each other about the opposing pitcher. A lot of times in the middle of a game, um, a reliever will come into the game, and we're going to get together and find out as, if anyone else has seen this pitcher before, what they've had success against them doing, whether that's game plan or approach. Again, anything that's going to give us an idea so that we can have some sort of plan going to the plate. The third thing that you want to make sure you're doing is paying attention and watching other players on your team and their at-bats. So what I like to do is I like to pick out a player on my team that I feel is similar to myself. Because the chances are the opposing pitcher is going to probably attack you similarly to a guy that's very much like you. Especially when you're younger and the opposing team isn't really going to have a scouting report on you. They're not going to know every single hitter in the lineup. So they're going to group guys together. The pitcher is going to see uh, a right-handed hitter, the smaller guys he'll probably attack the same way. Uh, he'll group the, the bigger guys, the guys in the middle of the order the same way, the left-handed hitters the same way. So for example, if you're a, a big middle of the order right-handed hitter and you have another right-handed hitter that's similar to you, really hone in on his at-bat to see how the pitcher is attacking him. Chances are he's going to attack you the same way. Same thing if you're a, a slap hitter, say you're a lefty slap hitter and there's another lefty slap hitter on your team, make sure you're really focusing in on that player's at bats because they're going to give you some clues and some tips into maybe how that pitcher is going to attack you as well. So make sure that when you're on the bench and you're in the dugout, it's not just a time to hang out, relax, rest, talk with your friends and your teammates. You've got plenty of time before the game and after the game to do that type of thing. But for the two hours of the game or three hours of the game, you really want to take advantage of anything you can possibly get. And by watching the opposing pitcher, by watching your teammates and their at-bats, it's only going to help you. And one thing I, I do know from, from playing with a lot of great players is the guys that are really, really successful, they all have a game plan when they go up to the plate, and they get that game plan in the dugout. They formulate that game plan before the game and during the game, watching the pitcher and watching other at-bats. They don't just go up there and hope for the best. So these are a couple of things I think will help you out while you're in the dugout. Give them a shot. I, I know that they will work for a lot of you guys out there. So good luck, 
and uh, let me know how it works. We'll talk to you later.